So I guess I should hit record because I'm really bad at that. Um, we're just working on the cover. This is the cover for my mini album to go in my book box. So we haven't gotten very far. Which is okay. But I'm hoping that we can get farther this week. Far enough this week that maybe I can give this to her when I see her for her birthday crop. In not this weekend, but the following weekend. So, a little bit of time, but not much. Hello, Miss Paula. It's nice that you could join us again. And you, Streamer50371, I don't have a name for you, but I'll say hi either, anyways. Phyllis, I think you're one of my longest watchers. Um, I think you've been here for almost each one. Yes, that's you, Paula. Always nice when uh, you stream. Uh, they're not in the room right now, or I think Mystique was, but their uh, their cat oasis got moved to the living room, so I could try and keep them out of here because they were using the potty where there was not a, a that was not a designated potty spot. We'll put it that way. So, trying to gradually kick them out of here as much as possible. I don't mind them being in here while I'm in here so much, but just trying to make this more of a our oasis, because in the living room, you know, it's everywhere you can hear everything. Um, TV could be on or the living room it's just open to the whole house but this is part of the garage that was converted so it's inside there's no air conditioning air conditioning um, so it gets warm that's why you can hear the air unit in the wall and if I keep the cats out of here it's um, it's more kind of like our our private living room, I guess. But I have my desk in here. My husband has a desk area that he's been working at the past week. Aww. Aww, poor babies. There's a kitten that sometimes I see on our front porch. Um, so... I think it was yesterday I decided that I was going to take one of the old dishes that we got when we first got the kittens and um, 
put that out there with some water and some food because it's hot and you know there's just not enough water available for you know the stray animals so we'll see how it goes um okay There's a, a stray mama cat, at least that's what I call her, is mama cat um, in our neighborhood. And, uh, you know, at least once a year, usually you see her with a trail of kittens running behind her back and forth across, you know, the street every so often, um, particularly in the morning or at night when she switches yards. Um, but anyways, um, there's always at least a couple of stray cats in our neighborhood. And while I would love to home them all, or maybe just catch the mama cat and get her fixed, just so that there's not a continuing vicious circle, um, but she's very scared of humans, so you cannot, for the life of you, catch her. Well, she won't even let you close enough to do that. She takes off. But, you know, barn cats are not that bad off. I mean, at least they have, you know, shelter. And usually they um, find food, eating mice and what have you. And I mean, if they're they're actual barn cats, and the owner of the barn knows that they're there, usually they'll provide water. But I guess it depends. And I'm just painting my edges. I do this on certain albums to avoid having to paper them. Usually it's faster and cheaper than using the paper um, to do the edges, but it does depend on what you're trying to accomplish. Yes, a book box, um, it's, you know those boxes, like the storage photo boxes that you can get at Michael's or Joann's, um, I'll show you one second. <sighs> this is what I consider a book box. Um, I made this from, um, chipboard and it's to hold Christmas cards and such. And I figured if I do one each year then I can put that year's cards in. Um, now this has some extra stuff but I decorated this one for Christmas. It's just a box that holds stuff 
and looks like a book. And I will do something very similar to that for this, but instead of putting cards in it, we'll put a mini album in it or a not so many mini album. I think I lost a lot of my paint into the thing there. We'll try a different route. So, instead of papering around my mini, I am painting. So the paper will go on top of these edges, and this color will just serve as a slight background. Thank you. Um, my friend and I have decided to participate in a swap and after I asked if we could be partners from the organizer I realized why did we have to be in a swap with other people <laughs> to do a swap together. Um, so it was just silly crafters mind you know you got other things you're thinking of and what have you. But it's her birthday this month and I am more than happy to be swapping with her. She makes beautiful stuff and I will be glad to have one of her creations to call my own. Um, this is good question. I've already forgotten. This is an eight by eight chipboard piece. So my covers are, I think, eight and a half. Uh, I did my covers at nine. Um, and then this is my spine over here. Hi, Matt Wife. I am making a mini album for my swap that I'm doing with my friend Fatty Patty Scrapper. So right now we're just painting my edges instead of papering them. 
and then we're going to make a book box and I will say that my book box is very similar to scrap buttons and bows So we are doing the book box and the mini to match and I'm going to be using um, Bo Bunny's Candy Cane Lane that I was so lucky to have gotten on clearance at 10 sheets for a dollar. So I have four of every sheet so I should have more than enough to make a very nice album. And this is just like a cream color so that it will go nice with the soft coloring of the paper. So we got lots of youth streamers in here tonight, and there's Kim sneaking in. I got some good news today, and um, my work is giving me a small raise so I'm happy about that still a lot of stress and time put in but feeling a little more appreciated than I was say a week ago um, it depends on what paint I use and if it's completely dry or if it's still kind of wet. Um, because I'm using um, Rangers, this is Distress Paint, um, I should be able to wash this just fine. Um, shouldn't be a problem to wash it. But it it does totally depend. I wouldn't necessarily try and wash it if I was using something that's not very water soluble. Soluble. Thank you.
What kind of stuff do you work on, Paula? I don't know that I've ever seen your work. I don't even know where I met you on Facebook. I just know that I met you on Facebook. And I know that you're very sweet. I know that MetWife and Miss Linda and Phyllis, I believe, are from Scrap a Dab a Do um, Facebook group. I know Kim from Saw Crafters Facebook group. Okay, so it was Saw Crafters. Okay, I figured that it was e either Saw Crafters or Scrap a Dab a Do. that you're going to have a wonderful one this year with your son winning that bike. It'll be so much fun to uh, put down all this stuff that he does with the bike. It is a online uh, scrapbooking store they sell all kinds of stuff from paint and daubers or sponges chipboard paper all of it um, magnets but they have a Facebook group where people post their projects they have a wonderful design team um, a lot of their design team does Ustream shows um, and they give tutorials for free usually and sometimes you can buy their project kits um, from the scrap -a -a store I know one of them, um, Gwen, she did this adorable um, album and a hat like a sun hat it was super cute and they have though the hat along with everything you need the paper everything she used in a kit that you can buy all in one place um, and hold on I'll, I'll allow websites one moment there you go do it one more time at wife Um, possibly. I don't remember if it was there or somewhere else. They did have it at one point. They do have Marion Smith papers. I know that.
Oh, well, it said that it was censored. You should be able to now. You have to enable links to be shared on Ustream. I don't know why. I think that's silly, but whatever. Yes, they're very nice ladies. They're very kind-hearted ladies. Um, I would love to be a part of their design team. It would be like a dream come true because they're the first design team other than saw crafters that I ever really knew anything about. And um, I, I just love how they treat people. I think I'm going to need some more antique linen paint. Um, it's going to be awfully close. I might have to condense down <laughs> my page numbers. Oh, Ranger? Yeah. Um. He sure does. Let's see. Uh, 
silver, that honey. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, let's see if I can find some paint colors that I can maybe make my own. Like brown and white. Right now, I've been streaming every week. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep streaming every week just simply because it, I am so busy all the time. Um, I mean, I work 40 hours at one job and another six hours at another job on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it's just a lot to try and handle sometimes. I think I need some yellow. Awesome. Don't forget to call tomorrow and let them know that you're coming to save you spots and so on. And you may want to um, just like make sure you tell them you have so many people coming and that you would like to be as close together as possible. That type of thing. I think I'm going to have to go over everything again because this is slightly pinker. I don't know. Um. Let's see. Well, see, the only reason I haven't tried to do something like that, like, um, well, they're closed today, Kim, so you're, you were good for today, um, anyways, um, the only reason I haven't tried to really get on their design team is because I just don't have the time as it is right now to, um, to focus on that and I know that you know they're a, a bigger company um, than my previous design team and I wasn't able to give my previous design team enough of my attention anyways as it was but uh, 
I would love one day to be on their team. For now, I just enjoy watching them and buying from them when I can. Oops. I'm getting paint all over the place. Yeah, it's just slightly, like, peachier. Oh, well. Well, I'm glad you came back, Kim. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited for the crop that she's talking about because my husband will be out of town and I can stay all day and do whatever I want for the most part. So it'll be a, a good time to be had. Um, I'm also really excited. I got the chance to get a couple of scrap racks from some people that no longer uh, wanted to use them. So I planning to reorganize all of my um, stickers and um, ephemera type stuff in my craft area and I have a calyx unit a 5x5 five five calyx unit waiting to be put together I want to kind of separate my work area from my um, desk area so I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that, but I will um, have my, let's see, um, I actually am not much of a scrapbooker, Paula. Um, if you watch, I say that often, I consider myself a paper crafter, not a scrapbooker. I used to think I was a scrapbooker, but I realized that I hardly ever finish a scrapbook. I start it, I have all kinds of good intentions, and you know, it's not just your normal wait and wait and build it up type thing. I just have the first scrapbook I've ever actually finished 
was a wedding album and I just finished it <laughs> like clearly just finished it um, I've been working on it for almost two years um, but I have to say I'm pretty proud that I finished it in two years some people never finish it um, other than that I have done a, a very quick toss it together album for my pets because you know there's just so many of them I wanted to put some pictures together so I have pictures of them from like when we first got them um, up until relatively recently um, so yeah that's what I do. Um, what I do when I go to crops is I usually take some kind of project like I'm doing right now and work on that so for instance if I wasn't hoping to get this done by that day or by the end of that day hopefully um, I would take this and continue working on it cutting out my paper putting it together all of that um, speaking of which where's my box portion so we have the mini album is painted oh sorry I was answering that um, I take stuff like this Kim if you want a rolling tote I can give you one I will bring it with you uh, with me and you can take it um, I have extra ones. Ones that I'm not using anymore. Okay, I'll bring a couple and you can pick, um, or you can come by the house and do that. Just know that my house is probably going to be messy. It's doing a little bit better this week. Oh, is anybody um, in here interested in getting a Cricut Explorer that does not have one? No, I'm not getting rid of mine because of the cameo. I just got a very good deal on another one and I was hoping to pass it along to somebody that may really want one and just doesn't have the ability to pay, you know, two hundred dollars for it. Yeah, some people don't, 
And it is very dependent on internet and some people, I mean, even in the United States, you know, there's people that have poor internet service. If I lived with my mom, I wouldn't be able to have it. Um, Kim, I don't know what that is. It just looks like a box. No, 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 no. Um, an explorer. I'm talking about the Cricut Explorer. I got one at a really good deal, um, and I was hoping to pass it on to somebody. I'm not for free, but. Um, at a better than normal price um, to somebody that just doesn't have two hundred dollars to spend on the Explorer. I'm guessing nobody needs it then. <laughs> I know crickets are not for everyone. Um, not like the old ones did. You can get a subscription to a majority of their images and you can buy them individual images um, in uh, design space. So yes and no. You can use your cartridges that you used on the older ones but you do not have to have. Yeah, you have to have a computer, honey. If I was honestly going to um, quit my job and open up a craft business, I would keep it for myself and have multiple machines running at the same time. But I'm not going to at this point in time, so. Yes, normally they cost about $200 um, and I was going to part with this one for 100 which is not much more than what um, I paid for it um, along with shipping if it's somebody that's not local. I have apparently almost killed my sponge brush. No, this one will be brand new. I have one that I have used and this one is brand new and will come packaged just as if you ordered it from Cricut. If you ask if I've used my Cricut a lot, I use my Cricut, yes.
Um, I have done some layout stuff. I've used it to make um, pages to go into a mini album for my sister-in-law that I made. I mean, it, it cut out all of the pages and it scored all of the pages because it has a scoring tool. Um, so it just depends on what you do um, as your type of work. Some people might use it more than others. Get myself a new brush. Um, well, if you want to, um, well, I don't have it yet, so I have to wait for mine. Um, I have to wait for it to come in. I got it from a deal on Blitzy, so I don't know exactly when I will get it, um, because Blitzy is notorious for taking a while to ship things. <sighs> um, so... If you send me a message on Facebook or that, um, then I will uh, get you that information. We can talk about what it would be to ship it once it's here um, and all of that. Where are you located, MetWife? Oh, Paula, we got you a kitty. My name on Facebook? Um, Cat Cheshire. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not far. It shouldn't be too bad to ship to you. I'm in Texas. Yeehaw. Um, she's actually a torty. She's not a calico. There's no white on her. I really don't know why I'm doing this because it's just going to be papered. I'm going to stop. Let go of me. Let's make sure I got it. It, sometimes it goes to the to the other folder. I don't see it. Are you sure it's me? I do not have any messages. Oh, 
You sent it to my page. Got it. Found it. Um, let's see. Get a drink. Okay, well, now we got to figure out what um, what paper to use to bind our stuff. So let's see. Hi, stickers. Kitty kisses. I have browns, pinks, there's kind of a cream color. Don't know if I have enough of it though. How about this? Very light blue. Um, at my local craft store, um, I am incredibly lucky. I live smack dab between two local scrapbook stores. So where I live, like here's a Michaels and I'm like right behind it. And then up the street is Little Blue House, which is a local privately owned scrapbook store and then down over here on another street not far away is another local scrapbook store called Creative Callings and I love Creative Callings um, they are where I spend a lot of time and where I've spent a lot of money they have um, some classes they have crop days all kinds of stuff and uh, they are very sweet people. It is owned by a older lady and her two daughters help her run it. One's there full time and the other one teaches classes sometimes. And they happen to have had this paper on clearance. Um, I'm normally not a holiday themed paper person because I don't have a lot of little children. Um, in my family, I don't have any of my own at this point in time. So, holidays are usually not something I do much for. Um, I have my one nephew that lives with us, and he's 23. And then I have a niece and nephew in California that are two and four and then I have a niece that will be one in September I think it's September might be October not remember if she went over by how much I know incredibly lucky 
Plus, I have a whole bunch of Hobby Lobbies. There's another Michaels and Joann's not far away. I, I also um, have gotten to meet the CEO of Cricket because um, there's a lot of Cricket people in the area. Um, I would love to do more with Cricket in helping them reach more people, but it just hasn't worked out yet. Okay. So, let's see. So in order to bind this, we need to cut them to four inches thick. Um, I'm sorry, Paula. That's sad. I don't know what I would do without my scrapbooking friends. I would be a very sad person. I've made so many in the last two years. Well, almost two years. Um, I wouldn't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> So those are three and a half or not no not three and a half, three. So I'm cutting these at four inches wide by three inches tall so that I can fold them at one and a half and make um, binding strips. And I know that's big, but I want to make sure that they hold well. Apparently, minimize my list of people. So we are scoring at one and a half.
I try. <laughs> um, I have my bigger scoreboard on the floor next to my trash can down here. It's over here. I have this underneath this table is a cupboard. Um, my scoreboard was in here. There's a bunch of markers. I try to keep what I have um, or what I use the most um, close by. Believe me, I have stuff all over too. And when I say all over, I mean all over. <laughs> Paula, I just found my pink um, ATG gun. I noticed that it was missing probably a little over a month ago. And I was like, I haven't used my pink ATG gun in a while. I wonder where I put it. And then I just kept ignoring it because I use score tape most of the time anyways. And um, I was like, man, I really need to find my ATG gun. And I went on my retreat and I used my friends and I was like, I really got to find my ATG gun. And uh, I have another a purple one that's the half inch one. You can see the difference in the tape. Um, and I knew where that one was, but I just no idea where the pink one was. So the other day while I was working on Friday, I was working from home and I finally decided to look in this one bag. It looks like a doctor's bag and it carries my um, e-bosser, which is the electronic like scissors machine uh, that you can put your die cuts through and everything. And I decided to look in there and bam, there was my pink HEG gun. Wouldn't you know it? But I'm also really bad about putting stuff away when I go away on my weekend trips. Um, like somewhere in here, there's another one of these Tim Holtz rulers. Don't know where. I currently do know where both my Tim Holtz scissors are. But like I said, that's currently. Because I worked really hard to get everything put away this weekend. because it was chilling in my living room and Lord knows my craft stuff does not belong in the living room So anyways, you are not alone, Miss Paula, you are not alone.
<laughs> and my pokey tool, which is in my crop tool bag. So I can just grab it. Don't we all, honey? Don't we all? Okay. Oh. Let me double check this thing. Okay, it's 10 inches. So I need to mark this sucker. I need a pencil. Jelly roller should do just fine, right? Okay, so now we know where my lines need to be. I think I need to cut down. This one by half an inch. And that one by maybe a quarter of an inch. Okie dokie lee. So I need a quarter inch off of you. And a half inch off of you. Looks right about perfect. Yes, ma'am.
going to do the inside binding strip here. I really like this tape. This is good tape. Even though it's harder to to handle the way I'm used to because it's so much tape. It's good tape. Oh, did Fatty Fatty Patty leave? Realize I should not have just said fatty. <laughs> So this will be the binding on one corner. Let me cut this. So that holds it together on one side. We're kind of building up our book. So, sorry I keep hitting the microphone. need to do the same thing with these. A half an inch. And just a little over a quarter of an inch. That one looks like she moved. So, down our tape. This is paper from Michael's. I would say it's cardstock from Michael's. I don't know. It's not really thick paper. And it's not super thin either, but I mean, you can Let's see. I just got some. It is 65 pound cardstock. See, I like to hold my um, score tape like that. And these bigger rolls that I got, they just are too big to do that with.
Which one's longer? The longer one goes here. What time is it? Now this is rippable, it's just so wide that it's easier for me to just cut it. Hope that makes sense. Oh, yeah. I do come on kind of late, but it's seriously, it's the only time that I have. Um, I mean, I, it used to be a little bit earlier, um, by about 30 minutes. I would come on at 6.30, but um, now my husband's home for a little bit in between his work sometimes and going to his men's group over the summer. And yeah, no. just worked better to move it back a little bit so that I had an enough time to have a small bite of dinner and um, not have to just rush in here and turn on the computer right away. Because I'm at a computer all day um, with my normal job. Well, with both my jobs, but... I wish I could come on you know, in the middle of the day or something, but I just, I'm not here. <laughs> Plus, I figured that, you know, the normal working lady uh, might be able to watch in the evening, but not the middle of the day. Um, when I started doing my Ustreams, I was not working a full-time job. I was only working part-time. We are going to need a couple more strips. But we will also need um, some long strips. Welcome back. So these strips, if you've never made these before, they're just binding strips. Um, they're a piece of paper, depending on what you're making, depends on the thickness of it. Um, and then you put your glue down or your tape, like I'm using, and it binds your items together. So we are binding them together to make a square or a rectangle so that we can make a box. And 
and we will probably stop after these two strips because my husband is home tonight He did not go to his church group. And we will pick up with, depending on how this weekend goes, I might have this part done um, when we come back next Monday, or I might still be working on it. We shall see. Now my cardstock that I'm using from Michaels, it does have a bit of a texture on one side. Um, so I'm using the smooth side as a side that goes down onto my chipboard. In my chipboard I got in like a, a kit type thing, a, a pack from Joann's. I have not seen them in a long time. So I do not know if they still offer them but it's like this chipboard, a white thicker um, not chipboard but a real thick cardstock and then a black thick cardstock all in a pack together and I bought a ton of them at one point so I mean I've got chipboard for days <laughs> at this point in time but I use more chipboard now than I ever did before now that I've kind of come into my crafting yeah I'm making this for fatty patty scrapper the one that was in here earlier we're um, local to one another and we've been good friends for um, a year I love her work and she wanted to do this swap but um, didn't want to have to send something you know super far away but if somebody would like to you know just do a one-on-one -on -one swap with me you know I'm totally down for that I have no problem yes ma'am and she does have a YouTube. She makes lots of videos. She does great stuff. She's on multiple design teams. Um, her daughter even has, um, well, I think she had a YouTube. She wanted to remake it last I heard. So um, her daughter does stuff. Her son is into cup stacking where you like build a tower and then you bring them back down as fast as you can. Yes, her name is Kim. So we almost have our book or box built. And we will I'll probably wait to finish the box with you guys next week, but I'll try and be more prepared. But um, we are using this light blue it's kind of hard to see in the light but it's it's just a light creamy blue paper and I have plenty of it so I'm not afraid to um, use it 
and uh, we will use that as our binding strips around this um, and then we'll use the same paper to decorate it well I got the the book box I learned basically from Ashley um, in general it's not the same as Ashley's but it's kind of where I learned what a book box was I've built a book a box before I made one before I even started watching Ashley's videos like a box box um, for a baby shower gift uh, and I, I love Ashley's work so I am glad that I've seen how she does things but other than that I saw a box at Michael's and I looked at it kind of gathered what I needed to do and just made one other than that, seeing the book box and how you put the mini inside of it, that I got from Ashley. I didn't start making mini albums until I started watching Ashley. And uh, I also used to watch Velocity Vet 08, otherwise known as Jane, um, on YouTube. She was part of Saw Crafters design team for a while she used to make mini albums and I loved hers um, I use some of her techniques depending on what kind of mini album it is other than that I try to do my own take I'm not like a flips and flaps and waterfalls and pockets and you know hidden treasures everywhere in your mini album kind of gal but I'm trying to make this one as special as I can because um, I know she does that stuff so I would like to do the same okay I look forward to talking to you again met wife about that um, I know that there's many people out there that you know would like to take advantage of different machines and just um, Maybe can't. So, um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not looking to make a whole bunch of money from it. Uh, you know, basically, I'm asking what I paid for, and you know, the cost of shipping. If I have to ship it to somebody, that's about it. Well, I will see you ladies and gentlemen, if there's any gentlemen watching next week. I hope you enjoyed working on the box with me. And have a great week. Be crafty. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop on the recording. And if you keep chatting, I'll see. <laughs>